Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can't look at me, look at me So as you guys can see right now, me and Nas are out here, and this is kind of where I do my uh, cardio and stuff at. I have Nas with me because I usually have him pull me on my skateboard, bam, and he pulls me about a mile here, and then after I do my cardio and get done training, he goes and does another mile. So I usually run him about two miles. Good cardio for him. As you can see, he is getting a little on the big side. So you feel me? Look, hold on, check check the pup out. Look, he getting some, he getting some gains out here. He getting some gains out here. But so in the community center, I did a poll and asked you guys if you guys want to see uh, more of my MMA training and stuff like that. You guys know I am doing Muay Thai right now. And you guys said that you would be interested in seeing the progress. I have made a lot of progress from when I first started. Uh, I was looking at my old footage and it was just like before it was like kind of like, you know, I was off balance. Things were just about power and I was throwing more so heavy things versus using technique. And since then, I have improved, you know, a good amount. My form looks better. I'm way more balanced. Uh, I'm faster. Everything seems like it has more power. Uh, you guys can see that, you know, I have dropped some weight um, since I've started my training. For me, I've always been into fighting. It was more so like street fighting. Those that followed me for years, you guys know that I used to post a whole bunch of videos just like fight videos and stuff like that. Uh, I was one of those people that were like, I used to be real confrontational. So since all my ratchet days and just wanting to get in the fights, wanting to post fight videos and stuff, I have calmed down a lot. I've learned that, you know, uh, as I've grown, that all the confrontational shit is like, you don't have nothing to prove. And at the end of the day, you have a lot more to lose. If it's a confrontation, then by by all means, if it, if it comes down to it, then whatever, I'm not gonna avoid it, but I'm not gonna be the, the nitpicker and the one to poke at it. But um, I started training and I really do like it. Um, I'm not doing it so oh i'm just doing it to for the fitness and for to be you know to be more active i'm actually doing it because i do want to fight oh the plan is to get down to a fight weight uh, i'll probably either be fighting at 205 or maybe in the 180s my trainer or my coach thinks i can get down to like the 180 range uh, i know i can get down to 205 i've been to 205 and i've also been as low as like 170 before at my current height so i know it is possible but i don't want my walk around weight to be like in the 180 range i kind of rather walk around at like 215 220 and then just cut to 205 but you know uh that is the plan the plan is to fight at some weight uh once i get my training and everything done and we feel like we're ready i do plan on uh you know doing something for me fighting was always a thing you grew up in the hoods like you always fighting you know your, your big homies always making you fight other people it wasn't no all oh, i'm gonna talk shit online it's like oh y'all got a problem y'all need to go handle it so you know i grew up doing a whole bunch of uh, street fighting with my partners we used to always put the gloves on in the hood and box each other and stuff but it feels good now that i'm actually working on my form and technique and it's not just you know throwing haymakers trying to knock somebody out it's actually trying to perfect uh perfect the craft and looking at my old footage i was just like ugh, like it was kind of just like unbearable to watch but now i feel a lot better and you know it is uh improving i'm not saying i'm perfect there is still things that i need to work on but you know that's what my coach is there for to perfect me and get me ready to uh you know to do this but you guys said you wanted to see some of the footage uh so here we go i'm gonna drop you some before the middle and some of the current stuff that way you guys can see the progress of your boy and then you know i'm just bringing you along with this journey so uh right now i'm about to get some cardio and then when i get home today i will be doing like a voiceover and showing y'all some of the footage and stuff but for now let's get this cardio in and get it out the way all right so here we go this is the beginning aka the first day of my training and you can see here that like look at my jabs like the jabs the cross everything just looks so off balance like, granted, my kick sounds powerful and my kick is good, but uh, back in high school, I did take karate, so I kind of had an idea on how to kick. But as far as, you know, fighting stance and standing wide, uh, it just wasn't there. Like, everything was off balance that I was throwing. Like, you can clearly see it, other than the kicks. So even right here, I want to show you guys my feet. 
like you can see that you know my stance wasn't wide i'm crossing over my feet as i'm walking back and moving to the right or to the left like they're just tangled up and you know everything's just off balance even when i was swinging you know i wasn't following through with my like using my legs for power so it was just real uncoordinated when i first started and you know there was things that i had to work on then right here like on my cross i'm turning my head to the side not keeping my head straight uh my jab not that bad but again it comes down to footwork i'm not you know taking my step as i'm uh connected with my jab so just a little off balance The one-two hook is just like look how slow that looks like i made great improvement on that combo uh later in the video you guys will see that but even in the beginning man like my cardio was just so like beat that you know after a couple minutes in i was like super tired oh no he's going down oh come on get up big fella get up and here goes a little clip of my girl's first session she actually trains with us now also and since then she's made some great improvement also so i guess you could say we're trying to be that real life goku and chi chi couple out here so how was it it was good you like it yeah you wanna go back so we gotta go jump somebody at a restaurant or something, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Oh my God. We gotta work on your hook though, yo. Yeah, we gotta work on that hook, that hook sucks. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't catching no fish with that hook. No. That cross is good though. Your cross is cool. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends, I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming now. Oh look, who's reaching out? Old friends wanna feature now. They don't work, so they need it free. Ooh, you reaching out from the west side of that old town, but there's no show. So I go down to the open mic, to show love to the real ones they know now. Some of y'all don't know now. In a couple months, you gonna find out. Been blowing up from the underground, and they still Stepping on a landmine now, and he knows it's my time now. Coming up, I'm on a climb now. Everybody claim they've been balling, but it's looking like they took a time out. Okay, I'm working on a Wednesday, then up again the next day. So much so is popping, man. I skip him like he leg day. Kick it like I'm Pele. I never care what they say. Put myself on Spotify, so every day my payday. That's right, I'm coming back like OJ, like a running back in his old days. Still rocking those OJs. My paychecks get a little bigger, but that don't change me or make me richer. Money coming, the money go, but my guy's here when he's staying with you. Blowing up off the internet. All these haters need to introspect, cause they been hating while the rest love him. And I start to go and doubt their intellect, cause I've been a threat since day one. No money or bank funds since y'all been saying you can do it better, but none of y'all ever made one. That realness don't feel this, but I've been sick, that illness. I've been fresh like Will Smith since 94, man, I built this. Stress style, X style, missed calls from my ex now, but I'm staying focused in the lab, baby. I don't need your calls or your text now. God say the boy bless now. And this clip right here, this is one of our more recent sessions. You can see that I'm way, way more balanced than I was before. My stance is wider, my jab is a lot more sharper, my cross is a lot better. You know, I'm getting my hands moving and back in a lot quicker, back into the guard position. And just overall, just, you know, you can like see the difference between now and back then like that one two hook right there was a lot quicker than what it was before and you can hear on my jazz and on my crosses that when i'm connecting with the pads you know it's it's sounding a lot more powerful also uh one thing i still need to work on is i need to bend my knees a bit more but you know we're slowly getting there making improvements but I mean, you know, the proof is in the pudding. I do feel and look a lot better now that I'm looking at footage and stuff. And I can see the growth. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy with where I'm going and where I've come from.
So quick little note, if you guys see right here on my one two hook, you guys will see that when I'm rotating my body, I'm not pivoting my front foot. So I'm not really getting all the torque that I could get. But since this clip, I have corrected this. Uh, I think here we're just kind of more, more so focusing on, you know, getting the rotation, getting my hands back up and in the position that, you know, it's supposed to be when I'm throwing the hook. But later you guys will see that I have corrected this mistake that I had with my front foot and not pivoting while turning it down. So she thinks she can uh, whip me in a foot race. So I'm at the, I'm at the shore. This rock right here. Come on, you say good morning, Sigo. Come on. Fuck you. Come on. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna win. Nah, you said nah, you said I'm fat and you faster. Let's go. I didn't say that. Fuck you. Come on. There you go. Oh, you cheating ass. <laughs> Yo! 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 He's slow. You buff, girl. You got veins in your legs and shit. <laughs> Don't be zooming in on my legs. Oh, you strong, strong. Yep. You about to go in there kicking and, and karate chopping or what? What the tao tanga? What the tao tanga? What the tao tanga? Here, let me see a let me see a jab, girl. Let me see a jab. I have so jab with it. Let me see it. Let me see this. <laughs> hey, Mike. Niha. What the tao tanga? All right, so here you go. The last couple clips you guys are gonna see. This is a couple weeks after when we first started. So I'm not gonna really narrate this. I'm gonna just let you guys see the growth and everything for yourself. And you know, you can see from the beginning to currently kind of like where we're sitting and how much of an improvement we both made. Kick it. So we got her training that way, you know, if we ever got to jump somebody. It don't look like she's gonna be much help for me right now, but eventually we'll get her there. It's pretty dope when your girl trains with you. It's like she always wants to find interest in the things I do and attempts to make an effort at loving the stuff that I love. Alright, so you guys remember how I was saying that I needed to pivot my front foot more on my hook. So this is kind of like where we actually fixed that mistake and you know we worked on it and got that down.
So other than me dropping my guard down when I do my back kicks, uh, they're pretty powerful and, and cool. But for my front kicks, that's what we're working on right here. It's just, you know, setting up and getting into position to get the kick down. Uh, I'm not as strong on my left leg, but we are working on that. So right here, we're not really focusing on speed or power. We're kind of just going through the motions that way I get familiar with connecting everything. I notice right here on my cross, uh, what I tend to do is bring my hand down instead of going straight and getting it back up. So that is something I still need to work on and correct. But here, you know, we're just going through the motions. And then this is kind of like where he was like, oh, I want 10 front kicks or 10 kicks with the front leg, which we are working on still. <laughs> So as you can see, we did make some improvement. Uh, we definitely not in the same spot that we were when we first began. And just like anything, when you start, you know, you're gonna have growth and there's gonna be growth spurts, you're gonna get good. So, you know, it's only gonna get better from here. And before I end the video, I got one more thing I wanna show you. I wanna show y'all what my end goal is. So this dude right here, this is the end goal. This is one of his fighters, this dude's name is Chris and he is a monster, bruh. Like, this dude uh, currently has a belt at the gym, and I think he's going to fight for his second belt actually this weekend. And there's another fighter that's fighting for a belt too, so if all goes well, and we have victories all this weekend, we should be coming back with two extra belts, so there should be three belts at the gym. But uh, Chris is undefeated. Uh, I mean, look at this dude. This dude is a freaking monster, so I see why he's undefeated, but... You know in the next couple months or in the next year or so you know this is my end goal like i want to be kind of like this dude this dude is like kind of like my uh my goku to my career. this is who i'm aiming for <laughs>